Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Every Month Med. This month, being Women's History Month, we wanted to focus the episode on accomplished women in the science field, as well as some of the most prominent women, women's health issues. We wanted to start off by talking about a few very accomplished women in the science field. So the first person we're going to talk about is Marie Curie. Marie Curie was born in Warsaw on November 7th, 1867. Curie worked as both a mathematician and a scientist in collaboration with her husband, Pierre. Together, both of them discovered two elements in the modern day periodic table, these being polonium and radium. This work allowed for the determination of a relationship between radioactivity and specific elements in the periodic table, leading to various medical breakthroughs. Marie's discoveries led to the creation of the X-ray, allowing for diagnosis through internal imagery, eliminating the need for operate for open surgery to successfully diagnose a patient. Marie's findings also helped to establish radiation therapy for cancer. Fun fact, during World War I, Marie, in collaboration with her daughter Irene, helped to bring x-ray machines and radiology to the front lines, allowing for more than a million soldiers to be treated and saved from life-threatening conditions. Marie Curie was the first, and to this day, the only woman to have received the Nobel Peace Prize twice. In 1903, Curie won the Nobel Peace Prize for physics, and in 1911, she won it again for chemistry. Now I'm going to talk about Patricia Bath. Patricia Bath invented the laser FACO probe in 1986. This system is used for removing cataracts and reduces the risk of complications, as well as it makes the surgery less invasive into one's body. A cataract is when your vision in your eye is clouded instead of being clear like it normally is and severe cataracts involve surgery, which would involve the laser FACO probe that Patricia, uh, Patricia Bath created. This invention is extremely helpful to the medical field as it helps millions of people get clear eyesight back. This um, invention has also helped millions and it has helped make time in the operating room more efficient as well as more successful. In addition to being a pioneer in medicine, she was also the first African-American to finish residency in ophthalmology which is medicine relating to the eye. She created history in 1973 by graduating from residency of, of ophthalmology. She was also the first African-American female doctor to ever win a patent in 1988, and her patent was for the laser FACO probe. I'm also gonna be talking about Flose Wong Stahl. She helped discover HIV, but more importantly, she helped map its genes by cloning the virus in 1985. Her ability to clone HIV was a significant step to determining that HIV was the cause of AIDS. In 1990, at UC San Diego, Flose Wong Stahl continued to research AIDS at a newly developed AIDS research center. She went on to become the chairwoman of the center and later went on to become the vice president as well as the chief scientific officer for gen genomics at a company called Immunosol. At Immunosol, Wong Stahl transitioned the company to focus on HCV therapeutics causing her to rename the company iTheraX Pharmaceuticals. Flose Wong Stahl has also won several awards, including membership in the National Academy of Medicine in 1994, as well as she was honored to be one of the top 50 scientists in, by Discover Magazine in 2002. We now wanted to transition and focus on some prominent women's health issues. So first we're gonna talk about maternal health which regards the health of women during pregnancy, childbirth, and the postnatal period. According to the World Health Organization, approximately 810 women die every day from preventable pregnancy and childbirth issues. The most common causes of maternal death and injury include excessive blood loss, high blood pressure, and some indirect causes such as anemia, malaria, and heart disease. The highest number of maternal deaths often occur in places that reflect inequalities in healthcare access, as well as prominent socioeconomic distinctions. The main factors that prevent women from receiving adequate care during pregnancy are proximity from facilities, poverty, poor quality services, and lack of information. Several organizations are working towards improving conditions and care for women pre, during, and post pregnancies, including the World Health Organization, who has been partnering with various companies and organizations to, to support various countries in addressing inequality in access to healthcare and quality of healthcare, recognizing all causes of maternal mortality, promoting accountability to improve care quality, and strengthening research efforts in order to respond to the priorities and needs of women facing challenges. Another prominent women's health issue is osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a disease that causes 
bones to become weak, resulting in easy breakage. And it is also known as the silent disease as bone loss may be occurring for various years prior to diagnosis. Osteoporosis, though affecting mostly older women, can, be, uh, can start being prevented at an early age. Of the approximately 10 million Americans diagnosed with osteoporosis, about 80 million or 80% 80 of those diagnosed are women. And according to the National Osteoporosis Foundation, one of every two women will break a bone due to osteoporosis, whether it be diagnosed or undiagnosed. Women are at a higher risk for being diagnosed for osteoporosis for various reasons, including the fact that estrogen, a female hormone that protects bones, decreases significantly when women reach menopause, contributing to significant bone loss and as a result, osteoporosis. So the last uh, women-related health issue we wanted to discuss was breast cancer. About one in eight women in the U.S. develop invasive breast cancer throughout their lifetime. As of January 2020, over 3.5 million women were found to have had history with, of breast cancer in the U.S. Breast cancer in American women is the most commonly diagnosed cancer, aside from skin cancer. In 2020, it was approximated that 30% of diagnosed cancer in women would be breast cancer. Some causes of breast cancer include um, starting with cells in milk producing ducts or in the glandular tissue known as lobules, which are located in the breast. Breast cancer may also be caused by genetics. The most commonly known inherited genes that cause breast cancer are the breast cancer one gene and the breast cancer two gene. Breast cancer risk factors, meaning factors that can increase one's chance of getting breast cancer, include exposure to radiation, family, family history of breast cancer, increasing age, and inherited genes. For more information on breast cancer, including discussion with a specialist, we did a whole episode in October of 2020. Make sure to check that out. These are just some of the prominent women health issues, as well as some of the most accomplished women in the medical field. Women continue to break barriers, not just in the medical field, but in all workplaces. That is all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed this episode regarding, regarding women in the medical field, and we hope everyone is staying healthy and getting ready for spring. Bye. Bye.